all these beautiful and courageous women were illegally detained. Detained only because they dared to fight for their rights, namely for the right to vote and choose the person who will lead the country for the next five years. This is a constitutional right provided by law of Belarus. Therefore, these women were illegally arrested. They are in prisons now and being held in unacceptable conditions. We demand to release all these brave women of Belarus. We will fight until all political prisoners in our country are released. Brave women of Belarus, we recognize your sacrifice. We will not forget you. We will continue to fight your fight. I'm Natalia Hirschen. I'm a citizen of Belarus and Switzerland. For the last 12 years, I have been permanently residing in Switzerland with my minor daughter. Once a year, I visit my home country, Belarus. Last year, I arrived in Belarus on September 11, 2020. On September 19, I joined the Women's March near the Komarovsky Market in Minsk. This is the only time when I have participated in any march. The same day, I was detained. I had a return ticket to Switzerland for 21st of September 2020. I was arrested for pulling a balaclava from the face of an Amon officer. I was taken to the court and was sentenced to two years and six months in a prison, only for resisting a police officer. I'm only 19 years old. The first time I was detained on September 6, 2020 at the protest rally March of Unity, during which I sprayed paint on the surface of the shields of special barriers. Then I was released on recognizance not to leave but I was detained again on November 30th, 2020 and placed in custody. I was sentenced to two and a half years in a general regime colony for allegedly insulting the President of the Republic of Belarus, organizing and preparing actions that grossly violate public order or active participation in them hooliganism committed by a group of persons. I'm a political prisoner. I am Anna Vishniak, volunteer of the Telegram channel Drivers97. I'm 28 years old. During and after the protests, I helped to deliver the water around the city. I was detained on October 28, 2020 for allegedly organizing and preparing actions that grossly violate public order or actively participating in them. Well, I was detained in the Stella area on the 9th of August. If I start remembering it now, I will start crying for sure. Mm, did they use fo force on you? They did use force on absolutely everyone. Were you beaten? 
I was beaten by the head of the police on a crest in a street uh, by Shapetko Yevgeny. Did he beat you up personally? He personally hit my head on the wall. Why did they detain you? Why did they put you on the police bus? What was their reason? What did they say to you? There were no reason, just in a certain moment when I was standing with my hands up, showing that we are peaceful protesters, we have no weapons and uh, they do not have to use the force. As I understood, at certain moment Amon received an order to attack and they rushed a huge number of people with all their protective shields and buttons. Uh, well, in parallel, and I was, uh... I'm Tatiana Sitsa, human rights activist, volunteer of the Human Rights Center with SNA. I'm 42 years old. I was detained on January 21st, 2021 for allegedly organizing or preparing actions that grossly violent public order or actively participating in them. I am Alexandra Patricia. I am 21 years old. I was detained on October 30, 2020 for allegedly participating in a mass riots. When I was detained for the first time in August 2020, I experienced torture, beatings, humiliation, insults. I was threatened with rape, the first me to undress stand on the stretch and at the same time they didn't stop beating me and the person who was beating me was a woman then they let me go my illegitimates were severely injured as a result of beatings i turned to the investigative committee of republic of belarus but my application was refused None of the policemen were prosecuted. When, when you were detained on a Christina Street prison or before you were brought there, you said that you were beaten by the head of the police. I was beaten several times. First time I was beaten in the corridor by Evgeny Rublevsky. We found out his name later. Um, then I was beaten by that famous blonde girl. She knocked out my legs and twisted my hands. There was another girl with me, Alessia. She was a Russian citizen. She was from St. Petersburg and she was visiting her boyfriend. They were just walking around town when they were arrested. Alessia was asking to provide an ambassador of Russian Federation and Rublevsky not only hit her head on the wall, he also hit, beat her up with the button several times. And yes, uh, the next day, uh, the head of the police was beating me personally. Evgeny Shapetka was hitting my head on the wall because I have refused to give them my details unless they will give me information about who they are, their names, rank, and also the reason for my arrest. I, Irina Zlobina. I am 32 years old, graduated from the Faculty of Philosophy and Social Science of Belarusian State University. In recent years, I have been engaged in my own small business, flowers and souvenir production. On January 12, 2021, my boyfriend Andrei Alexandrov and I were detained on suspicion of financing protest activities. From August to November 2020, we paid approximately 250 fines and reimbursed the cost for the maintenance in the detention centers for participants of the protest actions in Minsk. It is this activity that the Ministry of Internal Affairs considered as financing of protest activities. I'm Ksenia Lutskina. I am a journalist. I was detained on the 22nd of December 2020. Until August 2020, I worked at Bell Tele Radio Company. After the election, I joined the strike of the holdings employees 
and then left the position of a correspondent for the Belarus 2 TV channel. I was trying to open my own independent TV channel. Now the government is fabricating a case against me. I am being charged for allegedly evading the payment of taxes and fees on an especially large scale. I am a political prisoner. I, you, us, we all are Belarusians. We will fight for the freedom of our women who are wrongly held in prisons. We will not surrender, we promise. We will fight for yours, for our rights. My name is Ava Sharko. I'm 43. I'm program director of Independent Journalist Association Press Club. I was arrested on the 22nd of December 2020. I've been falsely accused of tax evasion. You are our pride and we will not leave you in our common trouble. I am Yulia Slutskaya. I am 56 years old. I work as a journalist from 1994, chief editor of the Komsomolska Pravda in Belarus, European Radio in Belarus, uh, the founder and coordinator of the information office in Warsaw, Belarus in Focus. Also, I am a founder and a chairman of the press club. On the 22nd of December 2020, searches were carried out in the office of press club and in the houses of my colleagues. I was detained along with five of my colleagues and my son, cameraman Peter. I am charged with allegedly large-scale tax evasion. However, the real reason for my arrest and charges was, of course, my professional activity of a journalist. My name is Anastasia Mironceva, and I am 25 years old. I was detained on October 16, 2020, together with my sister Victoria, who is now in prison like me. Before the arrest, I was one of the best last year students of the Belarusian State Academy of Arts. But I couldn't get to the state exams, as I was behind the bars. The academy didn't receive any official letter from the authorities, and I was expelled. I am accused, allegedly, for organizing and preparing actions that grossly violate public order or active participation in them. The reason for the detention of me and my sister Victoria was a video from the protests on August 10, 2020, where we both are visible. Maria Safonova. I'm 21 year old. On the 7th of October of 2020, I was arrested for the painting words Long Live Belarus. On the 12th of November 2020, the court have found me guilty under the article Description on Buildings and Damage to Property in the form of encryptions and the white red white flag and sentenced me to two months of arrest. I'm Yelena Mavshuk. I'm 44 years old. I was detained on August 10, 2020 in Pinsk town. Before my arrest, I worked as a nurse and a cook's assistant at Pinsk hospital. My husband did not know about my whereabouts for four days from the moment of detention. Later, my cell mate contacted him and said that I was in the cell naked, barefoot and beaten up. I was beaten up by the police before I got to the cell. 
I'm a mother of five. I have five children. Their names are Yulia, Karina, Angelina, Olga, and Dennis. Two of my children are minors. My daughter, 10-year-old Angelina, was taken from the school to the social shelter on September 17, 2020, because my husband is only her stepfather. In the pre-trial detention center, I was put on a record as allegedly inclined to capture the administration, take hostages, and manifest aggression. I am accused of allegedly participating in mass riots. Fifty-six, um, or fifty, sixty, uh, yes, fifty or sixty years old. There were so many people of different ages. I was mostly worried about my parents, how they are feeling at home, and my thoughts were: I was very scared that I will come out of the prison. I will come out, and I will find out that people have stopped protesting. It was a bad feeling. During my time in prison, I was begging in my thoughts for people to continue. I wished people to come out to the protest, to continue the protest. I actually started understanding those people who were arrested and detained, who were arrested and detained like as if we do not have a moral right to stop now. Even now, when I'm out of prison, I have a feeling, it is a big feeling, that keeps me going. It is a feeling about the people who are in prison now. People who are sitting in prison for nothing. Of, who are in prison for their truth, for their rights, for their beliefs. Irina Shchasnaya. I am an activist and an administrator of several popular Telegram channels. I was detained on November 18, 2020 by officers of the investigative committee who were dressed in a building management uniform. My mother was at the entrance to the block of flats when the so-called building management employees asked her if there was hot water in the apartment. My mother replied that she did not live here. A search was carried out in my apartment, and a laptop, telephone and money were confiscated. I'm accused of allegedly participating in riots. I am Maria Kolesnikova. I'm 38 years old. I actively participated in the 2020 presidential campaign in Belarus. I first participated as the part of the team at Viktor Babarikas headquarters and after Viktor's non-registration as part of the team at the joint headquarters of Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, Viktor Babarika and Valeria Tsapkala. I was detained on September 7, 2020. They tried to force me to leave the country. I tore my passport apart and thus did not allow to implement their plan. I am accused allegedly calls to actions aimed at harming the national security of Belarus. Conspiracy to size power by unconstitutional means. On the creation and leadership of an extremist group. And this is all due to my support to the candidate I chose in this presidential campaign. All I want – my country to embrace democratic changes. I am Maria Nesterova. I am a former customs officer. I'm 54 years old. I graduated from the Faculty of Informatics and Mathematics of the Belarusian State University. All my life I've been working in the civil service. For almost eight years I worked in the Minsk Regional and Central Customs as a senior inspector. I was detained on the 23rd of October 2020 next to my flat. 
my house was searched, I am illegally accused of participation in mass riots. I am Marfa Rabkova, human rights activist and coordinator of the Vyasna Volunteer Service. I am 26. I was detained on the 17th of September 2020 together with my husband Vadim, who was later released. A search was carried out in my apartment. Equipment, personal belongings and money were seized. The government is trying to fabricate a case against me. I am accused of allegedly teaching or otherwise preparing persons to participate in mass disorders or financing such activities, incitement of social enmity, participation in a criminal organization. I face up to 12 years in prison. I am a political prisoner. We will fight until there are no political prisoners left in our country. You are our pride. We will not leave you in our common trouble. I am Tatiana Yekelchik. I'm a student of the Faculty of Mechanics and Mathematics of the Belarusian State University. I was detained on the 26th of November 2020. Before that, my house was searched and my cell phone and laptop were seized by the police. I am accused of allegedly organizing and preparing actions that grossly violate public order or active participation in them. I am Svetlana Kupreva. I am a member of the initiative group of Viktor Babarika in the 2020 elections in one of the districts of Minsk. I was arrested on the 11th of June 2020. Same day, my house was searched. My elderly mother, who needs care, was left alone. More than two months I have spent in a solitary confinement in the KGB prison in Minsk. I've started writing poetry, which I've never done before. I am accused of tax evasion. We really want you to be able to hug your loved ones in the near future. We are together and we are waiting for all of you. Every day, starting from the moment of my registration of the presidential candidate, I was afraid. I was waking up with that feeling, I was falling asleep with that feeling, because we were always followed by somebody, and there were lots of threats, and when we were going to the piquets with my war girlfriends, also in any moment our car could have been stopped, we could have been arrested, or whatever else would come to mind to the people in balaclavas. Marina Glazova. I am 25 years old and I am a teacher of Polish and English. And I was detained on September 25th, 2020 at my home in the city of Brest. I am accused of allegedly group action that grossly violate public order. I am charged with organization of mass riots in the form of round dances in Brest on September 13th, 2020 in Brest. No, you heard right. I was detained for organizing round dances. I'm a political prisoner. Here, you can put on a balaclava, not write anything, not introduce yourself and grab people. For what? I'm Hanna Sudhurova. I am a manager. I have three children. In my free time, I devoted myself to volunteering. 
I was arrested on the 25th of September 2020 after the presidential elections of the 9th of August 2020. I was dropping people off after the meetings and also was picking up the arrested who were coming out of the Akrestina Street prison. My house was searched, my computer and phone were seized. Now I am accused of participation in mass riots. I am Antonina Konovalova. I am 32 years old and I was a confidant of Svetlana Tikhanovska during the presidential campaign of 2020. I was detained on September 6 and sentenced to a fine for participating in an unauthorized event. However, after the trial, they did not release me, but re-detained me because of the criminal case. I am a suspect for the alleged riots. My husband, Sergei Arashevich, was also detained in October 2020 because of the participation in group actions. <laughs> I am Daria Chultova. I am a journalist of Belsat TV channel. I am 24 years old. I was detained on November 15, 2020. Together with my colleague, journalist Ekaterina Andreeva, I became a defendant in a criminal case of organizing activities allegedly grossly violating public order. It happened after a live broadcast from the scene of the brutal detention of peaceful demonstrators by the security forces on the Square of Changes in Minsk. After the administrative arrest, I was not released. I was charged again and sentenced to two years in prison. I am Katerina Andreeva, a journalist of Belsat TV channel. I am 27 years old. On the 15th of November 2020, I was detained as I was doing a live stream from the Square of Change peaceful protest against the killing of Roman Bondarenko. All of the protesters were harshly dispersed by the security forces. Together with my colleague Daria Chultsova, we became defendants in a criminal case on organizing actions that grossly violate public order. After three months in pre-detention center, I was sent to two years in prison for doing my job. I am Ekaterina Borisvich. I am 36 years old, working as a journalist for the Tutpi portal. I was detained on November 19, 2020, in connection with a criminal case on the alleged disclosure of medical secrets about Roman Bod Bondaranko, who was beaten to death. In my article, I only cited the doctor's words about the absence of alcohol in Roman's blood, which contradicted the statements of the authorities. I'm accused of allegedly disclosing medical secrets and have been sentenced to six months in jail. I am Anastasia Bolivinka. I am a former student of Belarusian Technical University. I was expelled during the autumn protests in Belarus. I am only 19 years old. I was detained on November 12, 2020. A search was conducted at my house. I am accused of allegedly organizing or participating in group actions that violate public order. <laughs> I am Victoria Grankovskaya, 24 years old. I am a former student of Belarusian National Technical University. I was expelled during the autumn protests in Belarus 
I was detained on November 12, 2020. I am accused of allegedly organizing or participating in group actions that violate public order. I am a political prisoner. I am Maria Kalinik. I am 22 years old. I am a student of Belarusian State Academy of Arts. I was detained on November 12, 2020. My house was searched and I was accused of allegedly organizing or participating in group actions that violate public order. I am Volafilc Chankava. I am a lecturer of the Belarusian State University of Informatics and Radio Electronics. I'm 41 years old. I took part in the video message of the Burasir teachers against violence and took part in the strike. I was detained on November 12, 2020. On the same day, a search was carried out of my house. I am accused of allegedly organizing or participating in group actions that violate public, public order. I am a political prisoner. Why did you decide to share your story? By the fact that what the Belarusian people and in particular Belarusian women have done this summer and autumn and now continue to do, it is worthy that the whole world knows about it. It's a feat of Belarusian women, possibly my own feat, and simply all world needs to know what is happening in Belarus and what role Belarusian women are playing in it. And how the attitude towards women in our country is changing. I'm Tatiana Kanevskaya, a confidant of the presidential candidate Svetlana Tikhanovskaya in Gomel. I'm 54 years old. I have four children. The youngest one, Georgi, is 12 years old. In Belarus, I'm known as an activist involved in the movement of mothers who oppose the cruel punishment for the children for drug use. For several years, I have been fighting for changes in the anti-drug legislation as the representative of the Initiative Movement of Mothers 328. This is all because my own son was sentenced to eight years in prison. I initiated a hunger strike for the mothers of drug convicts. In 219, I took part in the parliamentary elections as a candidate. I was detained August 8, 2020. I'm being charged allegedly for participation in the riots. I'm Volha Glaskovskaya. I'm 39 years old. I am a former journalist of a newspaper Narodnaya Vole and an activist. On the 14th of October 2020, I was arrested. I am accused of blocking traffic in Minsk on the 13th of October 2020. The action was carried out by seven people, allegedly I was among them. I am accused of organizing actions that violate public order and entail disruption of transport. I was convicted on the 17th of December 2020. I received two years in prison. My name is Yula Kashabirova. I'm a nurse from Vitebsk, convicted of hooliganism. During the trial, it was reported that at a peaceful protest on October 4th, I removed the mask and the hat from a police officer and kicked the police bus. I partially admitted the guilt. I did not deny the fact that I could not restrain myself and stuck three blows on the back door of a police minibus after I was not allowed to provide assistance to an injured protester. But I stressed that I did not remove mask or the hat from the police officer. 
The prosecutor's office requested six years of imprisonment. In my last word, I said, on October 4th, in a crowd, I saw a man who was lying face down. The first thing that came to my mind was to find out what happened, if he lost consciousness and needed my help. It hurt me because I couldn't help him. I admit my guilt. I hit the car three times. I commit an offense, but do not judge me so harshly. Do not deprive me of my freedom. On February 23rd, I was sentenced to one year and six months in General Security Penal Colony. I am political prisoner. I am Alana Gabriel Mariam, a youth activist. I'm 24 years old. I am Svetlana Tikhanovskaya's representative for Youth Affairs. In the fall of 2019, in the parliamentary elections, I was a candidate for the House of Representatives. I was detained on November 12, 2020, in the framework of a criminal case of allegedly organizing or participating in group actions that grossly violate public order. I'm Jana Rebeika, activist and student of Belarusian State Pedagogical University. I'm only 20 years old. I was detained right in the student residence on November 12, 2020 as a part of the criminal case for allegedly organizing or participating group actions rudely disobeying public order. I am Kasia Butko. I am only 19 years old. I am an activist and student of the Belarusian State Pedagogical University. I was detained on 12 of November 2020 for allegedly organizing or participating in group actions of violent public order. My house was searched. I am a political prisoner. Women of Belarus, we are with you! Women of Belarus, we are in Boston! And we are with you! You are incredible! Women of Belarus, we are in Miami! And we are walking with you! You are incredible! We are far away, but we are together. Women of Belarus, Philadelphia is together with you. Long live Belarus! I'm Ksenia Seramolat. I'm a student of the Faculty of Philosophy and Social Sciences of Belarusian State University. I'm a volunteer of the Human Rights Center Vesna. I'm 21 years old. I was detained on November 20, uh, 2020 as a part of the criminal case allegedly for organizing or participating in a group actions that violate public order. My house was searched. On November 20, 2020, I was charged and taken as a preventive measure in the form of a detention for a period of two months. On January 12, 2021, the measure of restraint in custody was extended for another two months. Natalia Rayantova is a resident of Minsk, convicted of using violence against the police officer. In particular, she was accused of biting the leg of a right police officer during her arrest on a trolley bus after the Women's Solidarity March on August 29th. The violent detention was caught on video and soon became viral. Natalia was sentenced to a short term of administrative detention but was not released after the ceremony. She was charged under Article 364 of the Criminal Code Violence Against the Police Officer and remained in custody before the trial. On February 25th, the Central District Court of Minsk sentenced Natalia Rayantova to eight months in a general security panel colony.
Thank you.